let's go back to that great posture position. Um, again, you know, taking those shoulder blades, pinching those shoulder blades together, roll those shoulder blades back, lifting up the chest and looking straight forward. I think it's really easy in the morning because we're so crunched, obviously, to feel like we collapse. But pinching those shoulder blades together is a really great, great way to get those back muscles going. So now I want you to put your arms by your side. I'm going to back up just a little bit here. Lift them up straight up 90 degrees. Bring those elbows back by your side. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Press your arms out. Again, stay straight. Abs are tall and back down. Take those pinkies behind you as far as you feel comfortable keeping your chest straight. Bring those arms up, squeeze those elbows behind you, press out and back down. Again, lift them up and the elbows back and straight out and back down. We're gonna add something. We're gonna go straight out. Let's pull those elbows back. Now let's take those fingertips like we're gonna go behind us, pinching those shoulder blades together again, looking for that straight back position. Bring those palms together and straight out. Looking for those arms to be parallel. Make sure you're still sitting up straight. Elbows back. Press those hands out. Bring them back in and together. Good. Keep them. Let's come in and down. Up. Elbows back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's hold it here. Five, four, three, two. Bring those palms back together. Press those arms straight out, pinching those shoulder blades like there's an imaginary ball behind you and arms straight down. Nice job, everybody. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a shoulder overhead press. If you don't, if you feel any pain in your shoulders or your neck, I want you to go ahead and reduce your range of motion. But let's bring those thumbs up to the top of those shoulders, lifting those elbows high. Again, you should look for that nice posture position. If you feel good here, press those arms straight overhead, try to bring those um, the inside of the arm up towards the ears, Driving those thumbs behind you, bringing those elbows back down and all the way down. So this is, yes, a bicep curl, my friends, but we're gonna go ahead and add that shoulder press, looking for thumbs to shoulders, pressing all the way up that wall, imaginary wall, thumbs to shoulders and back down. Let's do two more. Thumbs up and press, bring it back down and all the way down, good. Let's roll those shoulders back. Now, as you've been really focusing on your posture, it's really normal to start to feel muscles work that haven't been active for a while. I know working on a laptop or waking up in the morning, I get this position um, just really naturally because I'm focused. And then I start using those muscles behind my shoulder blades and my neck, and they start to talk to me. So if you're feeling a little sensation, a little bit of tightness, a little bit of just activation, it's okay as long as it's not producing pain. If it's producing pain, I want you to go ahead and, and back off. All right, I'm going to move in just a little bit because I'm having some nice sunshine today. So now we're going to do with a little bit of rotation and a little bit of torso twisting, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to start to slightly take your chin over your left, which is going to look like my right shoulder. And if you're ready, you're going to take your right hand, you're going to place it on the outside of your thigh, you're going to turn slightly, come back to the center, and then let's now shift to the other side. So we're turning slight rotation, Bring it back to the center and turn, back to the center and turn. Again, make sure this feels good to you. If you are starting to feel weird sensation in your low back, not don't turn as much, okay? I really wanna make sure that you're actually um, feeling good and you're feeling that torso rotation. Good turn and back up. Now back to the center, we're gonna add those presses again. So we're pressing overhead for five and back down and four and back down, and three, and back down, and two, one more, good. Back to those turns, turn and reach, look over that shoulder if you want to, get, get a little more rotation, back to the center, and turn, good. Back to the center, are you sitting upright? If you're not, adjust your posture, turn, and back to the center, and turn, and back to the center. We're going two more each way, Take a nice big breath, back to the center and turn, back to the center. This time we're gonna hold everybody, here we go. Here's turn, lift that chest up, hold it. Five, four, three, two, good. Back to the center, opposite side, here we go, turn. Five, four, three, two, and back to the center. Good, check your posture, 
roll those shoulders back. All right, we're gonna work on that lower body now. I am going to move a little bit so you guys can see me. Give me one second. All right, so now I'm sitting on an ottoman. Hopefully you can see me when I'm trying to get out of my sunshine. All right, shoulders are back. I'm gonna put my legs straight out. I also have a dog here, if anybody has your dogs. I don't know why dogs like to exercise with you, but they definitely do. Let's put the right leg straight out in front of you, put that toe up towards the ceiling, shoulders are back. Now I'm gonna lift my toe, like I'm gonna try to drive it up to the ceiling and bring my heel back to the ground. Here we go again, and lift, and back down, and lift, and back down, and lift, and back down. Are you feeling it in this thigh? If you're not feeling it in that thigh, Draw those toes back towards your knee. Flex that muscle just a little bit greater. Here we go. Here's three, two, one more. Hold it. Now I want you to take that leg, open it slightly out to the side like a V, bring it in, back down, rest that heel, rest that thigh. I'm really feeling that thigh muscle today. I hope you are too. You're going to bring the leg up, bring it out, bring it in and back down. Two more. Here's up and out and in, one more, and up, and out, and in, and back down, and rest. This is a great way to strengthen the thigh muscles without putting a lot of stress and joints on your knees. You might be on an aromatase inhibitor or just feel creaky in the mornings. It's a great way to not load your joints but get those muscles active. And you can do this from your chair if you're watching TV or anything else. But what we do on one side, we must do on the other. So here we go, let's take that other leg, kick it straight out, and we're gonna lift up and back down and up. Check your posture, are you sitting up straight? If you need a little more stability, place those hands by your hips. This helps to support your core, especially as you get a little bit tired. Here we go, five more guys. Here's five and four and three. Good, last two, good. One more time, guess what we're doing? We're going out, here we go, here's out and in and back down. Keep following me and out and in and back down. And if you guys might notice, I'm actually wearing sandals to work out today because I think it's important to know that you don't need fancy workout clothes. You can often exercise in your pajamas. So you can just reduce that barrier of actually having to get fully dressed unless you enjoy that part and you wanna add that to your routine. But we don't need clothes and shoes always to exercise. Here we go, let's go in the center, out, hold it. Back to the center, hold it. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Let's give those legs a quick break and let's go back to that upper body one more time. Here we go. Let's place our palms forward this time. We're gonna add a little bit of rotation. Check the posture, bring those palms up. Now I want you to slowly turn your palms forward, opening your shoulder blades together, and now pressing overhead, bringing it back down, turn, and all the way back down, good. Here we go, here's curl, turn, and press, reaching as high as you can comfortably, turn, and back down. We're gonna do three more of these. Here's curl, turn, and press, back elbows down, bring those palms back to the back, and back down, last two. Really tighten those muscles. You don't need a lot of weights. Using your range of motion and your body weight is gonna be an excellent way to exercise. One more time, everybody, here we go. Here's up, turn and press, down, turn and back down. All right, time to work that lower body again. Make sure you're at a firm chair. I'm keep turning because I know I have some great sun blocking me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my feet. I want you guys to see my feet really quick. I'm gonna press my feet so that my heels are slightly wider than my hips. My toes are out about 45 degrees. I'm sitting at the edge of my chair. Thanks you guys for bearing with me today. From here now, I'm gonna press up overhead. Hold on. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm gonna back you up. <laughs> work on your core. You know, when in doubt, you just have to play. All right, here we go. Um, let's try this. So now we're gonna press overhead. It's not working, but we're gonna do it anyway. Overhead, and we're gonna press overhead. I want you to reach your arms all the way up. Bring it back down to your chair. And reach, press, and back all the way down. 
Okay. Now, holding those arms over your chest is also a great place to start. We're going to actually do this in a little bit of a circuit. So I want you to get comfortable with this move. Press through your heels, drive those knees slightly out. Stand all the way up, put your shoulder blades back. Inhale, step slowly back down to your chair. Exhale, press up, squeeze your butt, tighten, really tighten those butt, pull the shoulders back and back all the way down to your chair. Now, if you want to add the arms, now's your time. Thumbs on your top of your shoulders, stand up, press, arms back down, and slowly down to your chair using your hands if you need to. Again, arms up, press all the way, good, arms down, and back all the way down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and back to those the leg lifts one more time. Here we go, we're gonna stick the right leg out, try this to the side. Okay, so let's lift up and back down and up and back down. Really checking your posture and back down and up and back down. Last one straight, good. We're gonna add that outside shift, here we go. We're going up and out and in and down. Again, up, out, in and down. Three more, up, out, in. Last two, up, out, in. One more guys, up, out, in and relax. We're gonna do five times sit to stand. Here we go, press through the heels, arms either on your chest, your thighs are all the way up, here we go. Here's five, press if you can, and down. Four more, here's four, press, and back down, good. Really push through the heels. Three, squeeze those glutes, put those hands on your thighs if you're starting to get tired. Last two, good, all the way up, and back down. One more guys, and up, and press, and all the way down. Nice job. All right, guess what? What we do on one side, we must do on the other. So we're gonna do the opposite leg. Here we go. Lifting straight up and back down and up and back down. My doodle doesn't find this class very exciting. She tends to either want to be involved or she disappears. <laughs> so can you guys know that you have a dog running around the background? That is Ruth. <laughs> Last two. Good, one more and up. All right, we gotta take that outside angle. Here we go, here's up and out and in and down. Good, up and out and in and down. Again, up and out, in and down. Last one guys, up and out and in and down. All right, last time we're gonna do those five sit to stands. Again, if you're getting tired, put those hands on your thighs or even use your chair, but let's try to complete them as best you can. Here we go. Stand up, add that press if you can, and back down, and up, and press, and back down. Three more, everybody, here we go. Here's three, and press, and back down. Last two, and press, and back down. Good, one more time. Here's up, and press, and back down. Nice job, all right. Let's slow down that nervous system a little bit. Once your heart rate comes up, which is great, sometimes we need to take a moment to kind of calm that nervous system down, let those muscles relax. That burning sensation is definitely a good sign that you're activating muscles, but we only have so much endurance in those muscles as we gain strength and energy. So it's really good to kind of take a moment to relax. So we're actually gonna go back to that torso rotation that we talked about in the beginning, and we're gonna add a little bit more activation into the hips. So here we go. You're gonna turn over your left, or my left, your right. We're gonna turn. If you're feeling comfortable, I'm gonna take my left knee. I'm gonna reach it up. I'm gonna to try to touch it with my elbow. And then I'm gonna come back down to the center. I'm gonna to turn to the opposite side, touching my left knee, or I'm sorry, my right knee, and back to the center and turn. And center and turn and center. I want you to keep going, focusing on your posture. And I'm gonna give you a couple of thoughts here. If that rotation gets to be a little bit too much, this is a great exercise just to come up to the center of the body. You don't even have to add any rotation. The rotation just allows us to use our hips and pelvic muscles in a little bit of a different way, but it's certainly not required. Sometimes our backs are creaky at certain times of the day. 
Here we go. We're going to just do two more each side. Good. Again. Good. And rest. All right, let's pull those shoulders back again. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're going to add those bicep curls. Here we go. We're going to curl and back down and curl and back down. Remember that exercise we did in the beginning where we went out at 90 degrees? We want to try to activate those shoulder blades again. We're going to go ahead and add that here. Here we go. We're going up. This time, palms up. We're going to squeeze our thumbs out, bring it back in and back down and up and out and in and down. Two more. Up and out and in. Last one, guys. Here we go. Here's up and out and in and down. Good. Shoulder blades one more time. Now I'm going to adjust my feet. You're not being able to see my feet really well from here, but I want to adjust my feet so I feel like I can sit firmly at the chair and I'm not sitting on the back. If you need to sit to the back of the chair, you may need to adjust your feet more narrow and slide back. But we're going to go ahead and do kind of a little bit of a seated full body workout. We're going to start with our arms down by the sides. Now you're going to lift one arm up. You're going to reach over to the opposite side and bring it back down. And you're going to reach and back down. Now, as you're starting this, your goal is to reach, slightly turning at the torso only. If you're feeling really good and you wanna push those obliques, you can reach a little bit greater. And reach, good. Turn. Now we're gonna take this arm now across. So we're gonna reach and together, and reach and together. Reach, together, reach, together. Two more each way. And together, good. Now stay in the center and pretend that you're off to the sprint of your life and we're just gonna start marching. I'm gonna slowly bring those feet in. You can go a little bit faster if you want to or you can go slower, but we're gonna go ahead and do this march for about 30 seconds. This is chair-based aerobic exercise, guys, and don't let this kid you, this is challenging. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can also make bigger arms, good or you can make it a little bit smaller. You can lift your legs a little bit higher. You can kick your feet out in front of you like you're doing a little bit of a punch. Take that cancer. Good. Keep going. Chest is up. Pick up your temple for five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Good, here we go again. We're gonna reach over to the side and back to the center and reach and back to the center and reach to the center and reach. Let's take it across. Here we go. Here's a cross and center, cross and center. If you're feeling good, you can add a little bit of a bigger reach. If you're feeling a little fatigued, you don't feel as mobile, make that reach a little bit smaller. Make sure that this exercise fits you. Last two, good, one more. Here we go, march. Bring those feet back in. Good, lift those arms, lift that chest. Take a big breath, inhale, keep going. Five seconds, three, two, and relax, good. Pull those shoulders down. So you guys just did a little bit of aerobic exercise and we all know we should exercise. Everyone's like, I should really do this walking, but sometimes getting outside doesn't feel right or you might have balance challenges or quite frankly, you just wanna do something right then and there. Trim marching is a great, great activity to do. I also know that as we sit, we tend to get a little bit weaker in our backside, the back of our legs and our booty muscles or our glute muscles. So we're gonna do a couple of standing things to work on those muscles. If you don't feel comfortable standing, um, what I want you to do is actually sit at the edge of your chair and I'll give you an alternative demonstration. But for those of you that can, go ahead and stand up with me. Give me one second to shift. We all love sunshine until it messes with our workout video and then it becomes a challenge. Oh, somebody else came on. Not sure I'm seeing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and Go to the back. You're gonna stand at the edge of your chair. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. I know what's going on. Okay, here we go. Standing close to the edge of your chair, shoulders are back. I'm gonna take one foot, I'm gonna bend it at 90 degrees. I'm gonna press my heel behind me like I'm kicking the wall and I'm gonna bring it back in 
and heel back and in. If you're standing, I want you to think about having great posture. We're not pressing forward and back. We're not actually doing dancer posture. I want you to keep going. If you are a seated exerciser today, which is also awesome, I want you to sit at the edge of your chair, okay? And all I want you to do is take your foot and you're gonna slide it along the floor and bring it back in. And you're gonna slide it along the floor and bring it back in. If you're standing, let's do five more. Here we go, here's five. If you're seated, go ahead and just go as long as you can to keep up with us. Sometimes doing it seated and on the floor with the drag, it's actually more challenging. You have to go slightly slower. So don't worry about keeping up. Good, one more time. Nice job. And together, let's mm -hmm. switch sides. Here we go. And heel back and together and back and together. Good. Back, together and back. Good. Here we go. Here's five. Really flex that glute. Press the heel. Four. Make sure you're squeezing. Three. Two. Good job, guys. One more and relax. All right, we're gonna do a standing balance exercise with an alternative to take this into a lunge. This is actually gonna be in one of the YouTube videos that we talked about online. I'm gonna do a slight adjustment so you guys can see my feet. My feet are gonna be the most important feature of this exercise. I'm gonna be standing slightly wider than shoulder width apart. I'm turning to the side and I'm taking a nice wide stance. From here, my feet are not on a tightrope, they're in line with my hips. My shoulders are back, I'm using my chair wall for support. Now, if this feels good and you're challenging your balance, I want you to stay here. If you want to turn this into a slight strength exercise, you're going to bring your back knee down slightly. I'm going full range of motion. You don't have to follow me, okay? And then coming back up. Again, back knee down and back up. Again, watching my feet, noticing that I'm pushing through the heel. I can lift the toes of my front foot and back down finding a comfortable depth, using that chair for balance, and back down, one more, good, and step up, and then bring your feet together, and let's try switching sides, okay? Widen out those feet, only go as wide as you feel comfortable, if you need to, start here, pull those shoulder blades back, okay? Make sure you've got a nice, strong posture. Make sure that we're breathing. If you're feeling like you want to add that lunge, I want you to go ahead and add it here. If you want to stay right here, please do. Here we go. If you're ready, down and back up. And inhale down and back up. Good. Inhale down and back up. And down and back up. All right, we've got three more. Inhale down and back up. Last two, good, one more guys, back down and back up, good. Shake out those legs, you might be really feeling that in your thighs today, which is completely going to be normal. All right, from here, we're gonna go back to seated exercises, just a couple more minutes. <laughs> I love this then today, it's kind of coming in in a funky way. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and go back to that march, and then we're going to actually add this into a little bit of a kick. So right, first of all, I want you to do is start to pick up those legs again like you're going to be doing a march. If you feel good, let's add those arms. I always find that this creates that brain and body connection. Now from here, I want you to add a little bit of a torso. Notice I'm trying to reach my knee. So slow down that march for a second and try to pick up that knee and reach your knee. And then back up so your chest is up and lower your legs. If you can, now pick up the knee, slow down. Good, back up. Pick up the knee. Good, back up. Pick up the knee. Good, back up. And relax. All right, remember we're gonna do those squats again. So here we go, we're gonna take those feet slightly wider than shoulder width. We're gonna squeeze through the heel or press through the heels, squeezing the glutes. We're gonna stand up and back down and up and back down and up and back down and up and back down. Five more, here we go. Use those hands on your thighs if you need to. Use your chair if you need to. Here's four. And three, 
Good, last two. Nice job, everybody. One more. Good. And relax. All right, take those feet so you can actually put them closer now versus the wide position. Put them so they're in line with your hips. From here, we're gonna do just a little bit of upper body exercising from the chair. This is actually one of my favorites. It's a really great way to use your, your core and your torso without having to go too far. So I'm gonna place my hands right beside my hips. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch my elbows together, pulling my shoulder blades back. From here, my goal is to start to shift the weight from my hips into my hands. So I'm actually loading my, um, my arms and my triceps. Everybody's like, how do I get rid of these triceps? This is a great way to work the back of those arms. You're gonna lift up, pulling the shoulder blades together and back down. Release those arms, press those hands down and up and back down and up and back down. Now I'm gonna show another option. You do not have to do this option, but you can try and this is another way that you can work to getting a little bit stronger in those arms. I'm gonna walk my feet out just a little bit. And as I press up, I'm actually gonna shift my hips slightly forward. So I'm gonna press forward off of the chair and I'm gonna come back to the chair. I'll move this for a second and then relax. So I've got my hands here by the chair. I'm gonna shift forward, my butt back to the chair and relax. Hands down, shift forward, hips back, and relax. Three more. Now, if you wanna just come up, you can. Last two. Good, one more. And relax. Guess what? We are now gonna take chair marching into chair, a little bit of kicking. Totally an option for you guys. So let's slow down and let's practice the movement and then we can pick up the intensity as you see fit. So you're gonna take one leg knee up. You're gonna take that foot, you're like you're gonna kick forward, quick kick with this muscle, bring it back down or bring it back in and then back down. You're gonna take the opposite leg knee up as high as you feel comfortable with good posture, quick kick like you're flicking something off your foot, knee back, to, um, leg back short and back down, opposite leg lift up and kick and in and down, opposite, up and kick and in and down. Keep going, up, kick and in, one more. Up, kick, in, let's pick up the intensity slightly. I want you to have a quick kick, here we go. Here's up and kick and in, back down. Notice how quickly I'm coming back in and kick, in, good. We're doing four more, here's up, and kick, three, up, kick, last two, up, kick, one more, up, kick, and relax. Good, let's work those arms again. Hands by the seat of the chair. Lift up, pull those shoulder blades. If you want to, you're coming out and bring it back in and down however you want to. We're doing 10. Here we go, here's lift and back down and lift and back down, and lift, and back down. Good, lift, and back down. Shake out those arms whenever you need to. Last five, and four, good. Three more guys, and three, last two, good. One more, nice job. All right, we got 10 kicks left. Here we go. Last 10, lift up those shoulders. If you're getting a little tired, use those hands on your chair. It's okay, I do it all the time. We need that support. But here we go, 10 kicks of your intensity. Ready, kick and back down. Here's nine, kick and back down. Lift that chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, Pinch those shoulder blades together. Three, come on guys, two, last one, and relax. Good job. All right, I hope that you feel like you've gotten some muscular work today. I think that's certainly important to feel like we stimulate muscles and we get your heart rate up. What I think is important to know when you're exercising at home is that you can easily adjust intensity um, or movement by decreasing range of motion, increasing range of motion, or doing things like picking up speed or slowing things down. And I think it's really important to note that some days you feel great and other days you just don't feel as strong and vigorous 
But by doing some of these moves, you notice that if we moved a little faster or moved a little slower or adjusted things, you can find the right tempo for you. So we're going to take the last portion of time and we're going to work on a little bit of flexibility and also wrap up with one of my favorite breathing structures, which is called box breathing. Um, and so what I really want everybody to do now is just get comfortable in their chair. I'm going to have you pull your shoulder blades back. Okay. I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Think about tightening your glutes. As you tighten your glutes, squeeze those butt muscles. You should feel your pelvis lift slightly off the chair and then relax. Okay, so if you watch me closely, I'm squeezing. Notice that little lift that comes in my torso and then relax. We're gonna do five more like this. Here we go. Here's five and relax. Make sure you don't hold your breath. It's easy to do. Here's four, lift and relax. Good guys, three more. Here's three and relax. Last two, squeeze and relax. One more, everybody. We're going to hold this. Here we go. Here's five, four, three, two, and relax. Nice job. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work on stretching out the upper body. I'm going to take one arm across the chest. I'm going to either hold it right on the outside of the lower part of my arm. If you feel good, you can come up a little bit higher, but I tend to feel like if I go too high, my shoulder blades comes up. So I like holding it down low, bringing it across my chest and just stretching out, you should feel across the upper back of the arm, a little bit in the upper back. From here, I've got my right arm across. I'm gonna drop my left ear to my left shoulder, and I'm gonna hold. And as I do this, I'm gonna think about my shoulder blades sliding down the back of my body, my chest is lifted up, and we're gonna focus on our breath. I love to close my eyes here to really think about my muscles. Take a big breath, inhale, exhale, and I want to hear you if I was sitting next to you below that breath out. So big breath, inhale. And as you exhale through your mouth, big exhale. Good. Let's take two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, everybody. Inhale. And exhale and relax. Good. Roll that shoulder blade. You might feel a little bit of tightness or you know, achiness in that shoulder. And sometimes that's normal after you exercise, those muscles have been tense and now they need to relax. Let's take that opposite arm across, reach into the lower part of the arm, pulling that arm across where you feel comfortable, really focusing on your posture. Make sure we're not back to that rounded position that we uh, adjusted right in the beginning. If you're ready, I'm taking my left ear to my left shoulder, feeling a nice stretch across the side of my neck, taking a few breaths, If that neck stretch gets to be too much, you can go ahead and just return to center, or you can adjust that neck stretch to be less, more, whatever feels good for you. Let's do three big breaths. Here we go. Just inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. One more time, everybody. Inhale and exhale. From here, I'm gonna open up my arms and then now I'm gonna give myself a big hug. Whatever arm is on top, no big deal. Try to crawl those arms around the shoulders as much as possible. You can come up a little higher, come up a little lower, whatever is comfortable for you. Bring that chin down to the chest. Think about pulling those shoulder blades apart. Big inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale and exhale and relax. Now you're gonna open those arms up. Whatever arm was on the top is now going on the bottom. This is gonna feel incredibly weird. It does every time, but again, take those hands across those shoulder blades, big breath, inhale and exhale. Good, inhale and exhale one more time. Inhale and exhale. Nice job. All right, from here, just roll those shoulders out, move your neck around, whatever feels good for you. Sometimes it feels good to kind of move your torso. We're gonna work on the back of the thighs slightly. Let's see if I can find a nice position that you guys can see me. So I want you to have you, I want you to kick one foot out in front of you. And keep adjusting. Got one foot out in front of me. I'm lifting up my chest and I'm gonna slightly bring my chest forward to my leg. 
I personally like to put one hand on the leg that's stretched out above or below the knee, preferably above where the leg is a little bit meatier. And then my opposite elbow is kind of resting for comfort, bringing my right shoulder towards my right big toe so I'm in alignment. We don't wanna be open and twisted, okay? From here, let that chin fall softly so that they release any tension on your neck. Still looking for a nice flat back if you kind of check my posture. We don't wanna round in this. We wanna have that nice flat back. The knee should be slightly soft. Pull that toe up towards the knee and let's take a big inhale. And as you exhale, bring your chest forward just a little bit more, whatever feels comfortable for you. You should feel a stretch in the back of that leg that's extended. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Notice you can get maybe a slight bit deeper in that exhale if you want to. You don't need to. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. Slowly bring that chest and torso up. Take one foot in. Let's take that other leg out. Toe comes back towards the knee. Chest and shoulders are up. Lean that chest forward, you guys. Again, above or below, I prefer above. As you can see me just a little bit better, good. Elbows on that knee. Pull that toe up. Inhale. Exhale, chest forward. Inhale. Exhale forward. Let that neck relax. Let that chin fall comfortably. Let's do two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale forward. Last time, inhale. And exhale, relax. Nice job. Bring that foot back up to the top. Sitting up really tall. All right. We are going to go into my favorite breathing strategy, which is called box breathing. A lot of you might be good at meditating and doing regular meditation practice. And I think meditation is a phenomenal way to finish an exercise regimen, especially not even necessarily if you're doing a yoga type regimen, but even in a vigorous aerobic, because it does calm that body down. It really produces some good blood flow and oxygenation. I find that me sitting down after workout is difficult, but this strategy has been life-changing for me and it's really simple. Um, so I'm going to lead you through it and I hope that it's something that you can find really beneficial for you as well. Um, but like I said, it's called box breathing. So sit in a comfortable position, but I want you to have good posture because we want to have those lungs open. Okay. I personally like to take my hands, you know, placing them on my thighs or in my chair. You know, if you want to lean on the back of your chair, you can want to close your eyes down, you can. I'll talk you through this so you don't need to see me. I prefer sort of to close my eyes down. But here's what we're going to do. You're going to inhale for four counts. You're going to hold your breath for four counts. You're going to exhale for four counts. And then hold your breath for four counts. For me to you, when we first start this holding, it is difficult. You'll feel like you're wanting to gasp for air. It's okay. Do your best. If you need to pause and then come back in, you can. Notice that the last sequence of holding your breath, it's much, much easier to hold your breath because you're calming down that stress response, okay? So bear with me. Here we go. Get into comfortable position. Again, shut your eyes down if you feel comfortable. Here we go. We're going to inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, inhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, inhale. One, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, 
three, four, hold, one, two, three, four. Last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, and relax. I also, if you guys didn't notice this, I do five rounds of box breathing because I have five fingers and I find that it's easy for me to track like what round am I on in the middle of counting? So that's a strategy that's worked for me if you're not a big math counting person, which I am not. It's one of those things that I really find to be really simple, helpful, and easy. And like I said, I know we've got a YouTube channel that or a YouTube video that Sarah put up um, that you guys can go ahead and, and try that. And there's some other really great strategies out there.